In this video, we're going to show the full line of Refrigeration Technologies Viper products and how to do some of the most common cleaning tasks using them. First, shut off power to the equipment and ensure that it's off using a voltmeter. Protect the work area to ensure that you're not going to cause any damage. Inspect the equipment and component cleanliness and condition. This includes the blower wheel, the evaporator coil, and the condenser coil. Pay attention to any signs of oil spotting, which may indicate refrigerant leak points. Blower wheel cleanliness is critical for system airflow and proper operation. A dirty evaporator coil causes low suction pressure and can result in freezing. It also decreases system performance. A dirty condenser coil drives up head pressure, increasing compression ratio and decreasing system performance. Within the Refrigeration Technologies Viper line, we have the standard gallon jugs as well as the more concentrated Venom Packs. EVAP Plus and the Evaporator Coil Venom Pack are specifically designed for cleaning evaporator coils as well as inside the cabinet with the components still in place. The Condenser Coil Venom Pack and Viper Heavy Duty are designed for more intensive outdoor cleaning, specifically condenser coils, but we also use them with blower wheels that we've pulled out for cleaning. The more aggressive brightening cleaners are used only in cases where the soil buildup is extreme. When using these cleaners, check the specific dilution instructions. The EVAP Plus cleaner in the gallon jug does not require dilution and can be poured straight into a pump sprayer whereas the more concentrated evaporator cleaner and the Venom Pack does require appropriate dilution. Refrigeration Technologies Viper products have two primary delivery methods, a pump sprayer or a foam gun connected to a hose. Check carefully for dilution instructions. You'll notice that the Viper HD gallon jug gives separate dilution instructions for heavy duty, medium duty, light duty, and non-rinsing. Here, we're going to show you how to dilute Viper HD for medium duty cleaning. First, you're going to need to know the fill volume. In the case of this Refrigeration Technologies pump sprayer, it takes 37 ounces to fill to the line. We've created this pump sprayer guide that shows what medium duty dilution is. In this case, it's 3.4 ounces. In order to properly use a dilution ratio, you must first add the ratio numbers together and divide the sum into the pump sprayer fill volume, which is 37 ounces in this case. Dividing 37 by 11 gives us approximately 3.4 ounces, which is the total fill amount for the chemical. Pour that fill amount into the pump sprayer and then fill the sprayer with water up to the fill line. When using the Viper foam gun that's connected to the hose, you can simply add the cleaner directly to the gun and select the proper setting on the gun for appropriate dilution. Here's our Viper foam gun guide for each of the cleaners. When cleaning the evaporator coil in place, open it up so that you can gain access to as much of the coil as possible. In some cases, you can remove the triangular panel at the front of the coil to access the underside. In other cases, you may be able to gain access from underneath. We recommend using a soft bristle brush to clean as much of the solid debris as possible before beginning with chemical cleaners. We also suggest cleaning the drain line first and leaving a wet dry vacuum connected during cleaning to remove the cleaner and suds that are rinsing off the coil. In the case shown for evaporator in place cleaning, you can choose the evaporator venom pack cleaner or EVAP plus. As we mentioned before, EVAP plus does not require dilution and can be poured directly into the pump sprayer. In the case of the Venom Pack, you would add only 2 to 3 ounces of the concentrate to the pump sprayer and then fill the sprayer with water up to the fill line. Spray down the coil completely. Allow the cleaner to remain on the coil for several minutes before rinsing. However, it's worth noting that you are not required to rinse the evaporator if you use one of the Viper evaporator cleaners appropriately diluted. For coils that are dirtier, we suggest using the Viper aerosol can. The aerosol can is a high foaming cleaner, and you spray the pin spray of the aerosol can into the coil and allow it to work from outside to inside in most cases. 
Allow the foam to dwell on the coil for five to 10 minutes and then rinse as required. It's a good idea to have rags and a wet dry vacuum nearby to be prepared to clean off any foam and soil that begins to form on the coil. A soft bristle brush is also handy. Viper pan and drain treatment. After you've completed cleaning and rinsing the coil as required, use viper pan and drain treatment across the pan and the bottom row of the coil. Now let's show how to clean a blower wheel that's been removed. Here we show the hose-connected foam gun to apply foam liberally to the blower wheel. Give the foam a few minutes to dwell and then rinse thoroughly to finish cleaning the blower wheel. Repeat as necessary. When cleaning a very soiled condenser coil, it's best to remove the guard completely and remove any of the surface debris with a soft brush, especially in cases when you're dealing with cottonwood, dryer lint, or in some cases, animal hair. First, pre-rinse the coil from inside to outside. Next, choose your cleaner. You can use either the Condenser Coil Venom Pack, Viper Heavy Duty, or Viper Brightener Cleaner. Dilute as recommended. Work from the inside out. Generally speaking, build foam from the bottom up. Make sure to work foam in between all of the rows and rinse completely when done. Finally, reassemble the equipment and test safely. If any of the components are still wet, ensure that they fully dry before completing your testing. As you can see, the Viper cleaning line, including the gallon jugs and the venom packs, as well as the aerosol coil cleaning spray and the pan and drain treatment, create a full line of HVAC cleaning chemicals that are both safe and effective. Big thanks to Refrigeration Technology for supporting HVAC School over the years and for creating products that are great for technicians everywhere. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to hvacrschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.